Introduction Hey kids, we all know that we need energy to live and food is the primary source of energy. But you know that the process of digestion of food starts from the mouth and the action of absorption of energy is majorly starts in small intestine. Yes, through mouth and then through esophagus, food goes to stomach where digestion of protein starts and then food enters into the small intestine from where the undigested food goes to large intestine and then eject out from the body through anus. After the digestion of food, the nutrients are absorbed from the digested products. So, throughout this module, we will learn digestion and absorption. Objectives at the end of this lesson, you will be able to Describe digestive system Describe digestion of food Explain absorption of digested products Describe disorders of digestive system Digestive system Digestive system of a human consists of elementary canal and digestive glands the elementary canal is a long tube of varying diameter. It measures from 8 to 10 meters in length. The first part of our of elementary canal is mouth. It is a transverse slit. It is bounded by two soft movable lips, the upper one and the lower one. Oral or buccal cavity and palate. Oral or buccal cavity. It is a large space bounded by palate from above, by throat from below, and by jaws from sides. Palate. It forms the roof of the oral cavity and separates it from the nasal chamber. It is divided into two parts. Hard palate and soft palate. Hard palate. It is supported by bones and bears transverse ridges called rugae. It keeps the food in place during mastication. Soft palate. It is the posterior part of the palate. Its smooth surface makes swallowing easy. Its posterior free end hangs down as a small flap. The uvula or vellum palate. Tongue. It is a large, highly mobile structure placed on the floor of the buccal cavity. Functions of tongue. It helps in digestion. It tastes the food. It makes food soft and slippery for chewing by mixing saliva in it. For swallowing, it turns the food into spherical mass called bolus. Teeth. Teeth are present in both the jaws in the form of semicircular arches. The teeth are embedded in pits called the sockets or alveoli. The teeth are produced in two sets temporary teeth or deciduous teeth and permanent teeth. Human teeth are diphyodont because milk teeth are replaced by permanent teeth in humans. Teeth are of four types. Incisors, canines, premolars and molars. There are 32 teeth in the permanent set. The letters I, C, PM and M refers to incisors, canines premolars and molars. The arrangement of human teeth can be represented by a dental formula. Pharynx Pharynx is a small sized conical part where food and air passage cross each other. It has following opening. Two nasal openings or internal nares. Two openings, eustachian tubes. 
Gullet, the opening of esophagus. Glottis, the opening of larynx or trachea. Opening of buccal cavity into pharynx. Nasopharynx lies between the nasal chambers and has internal nares. Oropharynx lies behind the buccal cavity and is passage for food bolus. Laryngopharynx is the lowest part of the pharynx and has two apertures, glottis and gullet. Glottis leads into trachea and is closed during the swallowing of food bolus by a leaf-like cartilage, the epiglottis. When food is swallowed, the opening of the trachea remains closed by uvula. Stomach Stomach lies below the diaphragm in the upper part of abdominal cavity. The greater part of stomach lies towards the left. Stomach can be divided into following parts. Cardiac part Esophagus opens into the cardiac part by an aperture called cardia. It is guarded by a valve, the cardiac sphincter. It is projected above the cardiac valve and is called fundus. Corpus or body it is the middle part of the stomach. Pyloric part. It is the lower part of the stomach which opens into the small intestine. Small intestine. Small intestine is about 6 meters long tube approximately 1 inch in diameter. It lies coiled in the abdominal cavity. Small intestine consists of three parts. Duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. Duodenum is the first part of intestine about 25 cm long and having U shaped. Jejunum is about 2.5 meters long and narrower than duodenum. The jejunum and ileum do not have a clear cut separation. Large intestine. Large intestine is wider than small intestine. It consists of caecum, colon and rectum. Large intestine starts from the caecum and it is a big pouch which receives waste materials from the small intestine. The caecum leads to colon which is divided into three parts, ascending, transverse and descending part and finally it opens into the rectum which leads to anus. Layers in wall of alimentary canal The wall of alimentary canal consists of four layers serosa, muscularis, submucosa, mucosa. Serosa is the outermost layer consists of small amount of connective tissue. In digestive tract, the muscularis consists of an inner circular and outer longitudinal layer of smooth muscle. The inner circular layer is arranged in tight spiral, whereas outer longitudinal layer arranged in loose spiral. Submucosa layer consists of irregular dense connective tissue. It contains blood, lymph vessels and nerve plexi. Mucosa is the innermost layer of the gut wall, which is composed of four distinct tissue layers. The mucus epithelium, the lamina propria, the muscularis mucosae layer and the mucosal layer, which contains multiple mucus secreting glands. The mucosal layer is particularly significant because it maintains a moist inner surface that lubricates the innermost gut layer, facilitates the forward movement of the food bolus and prevents mucosal abrasions from coarse foods. Digestive glands There are three digestive glands that associate with alimentary canal which are Salivary glands, liver, 
and pancreas. There are three pairs of salivary glands that are parotids, submaxillary or submandibular and sublinguals which secrete saliva which pours along ducts into the mouth. Saliva contains the enzyme amylase which catalyzes the hydrolysis of starch. Liver is the largest gland of the body. It is situated in the upper part of abdomen just below the diaphragm. The hepatic lobule is the structural unit of the liver and it contains hepatic cells. Thin connective tissue covering each lobule is called glissans lobule. Bile juice is secreted by the hepatic cells and is stored in the gall bladder. Bile juice is yellowish greenish alkaline in nature. Bile emulsifies fats which help in breaking them into small globules. The duct of gall bladder and the hepatic duct forms the common bile duct. Pancreas is the second largest organ of the body. It secretes pancreatic juice which contains digestive enzymes. These include trypsin and chymotrypsin for the breakdown of protein, amylase for the splitting of polysaccharides, etc. Digestion of food At the beginning of the digestion path, teeth chew and crunch the food. This starts the process of chopping food into small pieces. The salivary gland secretes saliva which contains mucus and it helps in lubricating the food and converts it into food bolus. It also contains electrolytes and enzymes, salivary amylase and lysozyme. The carbohydrates get partly digested due to action of saliva. About 30% of starch is hydrolyzed by salivary amylase whereas lysozyme prevents infection. Now the food bolus passes down through esophagus by muscular contractions called peristalsis into stomach. After the food enters into the stomach, due to the churning movement of muscular walls of stomach, the food mixes with the acidic gastric juice and from chyme. The lining of the stomach produces hydrochloric acid and an enzyme called pepsin that digests protein. The chyme food moves slowly into the small intestine through the pyloric sphincter or valve. Small intestine is divided into three parts, duodenum, jejunum and ileum. Chyme is mixed with digestive juices, bile from the liver, pancreatic juice and amylase from the pancreas as well as other intestinal enzymes such as maltase, lactase and sucrase to break down the chyme. Peptides are broken down into amino acids, lipids are broken down into fatty acids and glycerol and carbohydrates are broken down into sugar and glucose. The undigested and unabsorbed food passes into the large intestine. The function of large intestine is to absorb water from the indigestible food matter and it also secretes mucus which lubricates the waste food particles for ejection. The unabsorbed and undigested substances are called fecal matter. The fecal matter is discharged from the body through anus. Absorption of digested products Absorption is the transportation of end products from the gastrointestinal to the blood or lymph. Monosaccharides such as glucose, galactose and fructose produced by the breakdown of polysaccharides are transported to the intestinal epithelium by facilitated diffusion or active transport. Facilitated diffusion moves the sugars into the bloodstream. Through osmotic gradient, 
water is transported. The peptide fragments which are formed due to breakdown of proteins are digested to free amino acids. Free amino acids enter into epithelium by secondary active transport and leave it by facilitated diffusion. Fatty acids and glycerol are transported in the form of small droplets called micelles. Micelles move into the intestinal mucosa. They get reformed into small protein called the gylomicrons, which are transported into lymph vessels in the villi. After that, the absorbed substance release into the bloodstream. All the absorbed substances are incorporated into the tissues and organs and this process is termed as assimilation. Disorders of Digestive System The common disorders of digestive system are Jaundice Due to the accumulation of bile pigments in the blood plasma, the skin and eyes turn yellow. The bile pigment is produced by the liver due to the breakdown of red blood cells. Vomiting The ejection of the content of the stomach through the mouth. Diarrhea The abnormal frequency and liquidity of fecal discharges. Constipation Difficult evacuation of fecal matter. Indigestion Disturbance of the normal process of digestion, leading to a feeling of fullness. The causes of indigestion are inadequate enzyme secretion, anxiety, overeating and spicy food. Did you know? A new study from the University North Carolina School of Medicine reveals that some gut microbes increase the absorption of dietary fats allowing the host organism to extract more calories from the same amount of food. An LED phototherapy system is used in an Indian hospital. In this, a blue light is used to treat jaundice in newborn babies. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Digestive system of man consists of alimentary canal and digestive glands. Oral cavity is the large space bounded by palate from above, by throat from below and by jaws from sides. There are 32 teeth in the permanent set. Pharynx is a small sized conical part where food and air passage cross each other. Stomach can be divided into cardiac part, corpus or body and pyloric part. Small intestine consists of duodenum, jejunum and ileum. Large intestine consists of cecum, colon and rectum. The wall of elementary canal consists of four layers, serosa, muscularis, submucosa and mucosa. Digestive glands, salivary glands, liver and pancreas. Absorption is the transportation of end products from the gastrointestinal to the blood or lymph. Common disorders of digestive system are jaundice, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation and indigestion.